Blessed is our God, always, now and forever, to the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to your God, our hope, glory to you, heavenly King, comforter, spirit of truth, present everywhere and filling all things, treasure your blessings and give your life. Come and abide in us, cause us of every stain, and save our souls, O gracious one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. <coughs> Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever to the ages of ages. Amen. Save your people, O Lord, and bless your inheritance, granting to faithful Christians victory over their enemies, and guarding your commonwealth by your cross. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Lift it up on the cross of your own will to the new commonwealth that bears your name. Grant your mercies, Christ God. Make your faithful people glad by your power, granting them victories over their enemies. May they have your help in battle, a weapon of peace, an invincible trophy, both now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Dread champion who cannot be put to shame, do not despise our petitions, O good one. All praise, Mother of God, establish the commonwealth of the Orthodox. Save your people and give them victory from heaven. For you gave birth to God, O only blessed one. Have mercy on us, O God, according to great mercy, beseech you, hear us, and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for all pious and orthodox Christians. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for Archbishop Constantine, for all our brotherhood in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. For you, indeed, are merciful, God, love <clears throat> mankind, to we offer up glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit now and forever to the ages of ages. Amen. In the name of the Lord, Father bless. Glory to the Holy Catholic, substantial life, giving an undivided trinity, always, now and ever, to the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace, goodwill among men. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace, goodwill among men. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace, goodwill among men. O Lord, you open my lips and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. O Lord, you will open my lips and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. Lord, why are they multiplied who afflict me? Many are they who rise up against me. Many are they who say to my soul, there is no salvation for him and his God. But you, O Lord, are my help, my glory, and the one who lifts up my head. I cried to the Lord with my voice, and he heard me from his holy mountain. I lay down and slept. I awoke, for the Lord will help me. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people who set themselves against me all around. Arise, O Lord, save me, my God, for you have struck all who without cause are my enemies. You have shattered the teeth of sinners. Salvation is from the Lord, and your blessing is upon your people. I lay down and slept. I awoke, for the Lord will help me. O Lord, do not rebuke me in your anger, nor chasten me in your wrath, for your hours are fixed in me, and your hand presses heavily upon me. There is no health in my flesh because of your anger, nor is there peace in my bones because of my sins. For my transgressions have risen over my head. They have weighed upon me like a heavy burden. My wounds have grown foul and corrupt because of my folly. I am altogether wretched and bowed down. I go mourning all the day long. For my loins are filled with mockery, and there is no health in my flesh. I am feeble and am brought exceedingly low. I have roared because of the groaning of my heart. Lord, all my desires before you and my groaning is not hidden from you. My heart is troubled, my strength has failed me, and even the light of my eyes is gone from me. My friends and my neighbors drew up across from me and stood, and my kin stood far off. And those who sought my life used violence, and those who sought my hurt spoke vain things and talked deceitfully all the day long. But I, as if deaf, did not hear, and I was like a mute who does not open his mouth. And I was like a man who cannot hear, and in whose mouth are no reproofs. For in you, O Lord, have I hoped. You will hear, O Lord my God. 
For I said, let never my enemies rejoice over me. When my feet slipped, they spoke boastfully against me. For I am ready for scourges, and my grief is continually before me. For I will declare my transgression and be sorry for my sins. But my enemies live and are stronger than I, and those who hate me wrongfully are multiplied. Those who render me evil for good have slandered me because I pursue goodness. Do not forsake me, O Lord. O my God, do not be far from me. Make haste to help me, O Lord of my salvation. Do not forsake me, O Lord. O my God, do not be far from me. Make haste to help me, O Lord of my salvation. O God, my God, I seek you early. My soul thirsts for you. O how my flesh longs for you in a dry and trackless and waterless land. Thus have I appeared before you in the sanctuary to see your power and your glory. For your mercy is better than life. My lips shall praise you. Thus will I bless you while I live and lift up my hands in your name. Let my soul be filled as if with marrow and fat, that my mouth may praise you with joyful lips. When I remember you upon my bed and meditate on you in the night watches, for you have been my helper, and in the shadow of your wings I will rejoice. My soul cleaves to you, and your right hand helps me. But these ones sought my life in vain. They shall be down into the lowest parts of the earth. They shall be given to the edge of the sword. They shall be a portion for foxes. But the king shall rejoice in God. All who swear by him for glory shall glory, for the mouth of those who speak iniquities is stopped. I meditate on you in the night watches, for you have been my helper. In the shadow of your wings I will rejoice. My soul cleaves to you, and your right hand helps me. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. <clears throat> o Lord, God of my salvation, I have cried, cried day and night before you. Let your prayer come be, let my prayer come before you. Incline your ear to my supplication. For my soul is filled with evils, and my life is drawn near to Hades. I am counted with those who go down into the pit. I am like a man without help, free among the dead, like the slain who lie in the grave, whom you remember no more, for they have been cast out of your hand. They have laid me in the lowest pit, in darkness and in the shadow of death. Your wrath lies heavily upon me, and you've brought all your billows against me. You have put my acquaintances far from me. They have made me an abomination to themselves. I have been delivered up and have not escaped. My eyes are weak from poverty. Lord, I have cried to you all the day. I have stretched out my hands to you. Shall you work wonders for the dead, or shall physicians raise them up that they may give thanks to you? Shall anyone declare your mercy in the grave or your truth in perdition? Shall your wonders be known in darkness or your righteousness in a forgotten land? As for me, I have cried to you, O Lord, and in the morning my prayer shall meet you. Lord, why do you cast off my soul? Why do you turn your face from me? I am poor and in pain ever since my youth. Having been exalted, I was brought low, and my mind was troubled. Your anger has come upon me, and your terrors have greatly troubled me. They have surrounded me like water all the day. They have encompassed me altogether. You put far from me friend and neighbor and my acquaintances because of my wretchedness. O Lord, God of my salvation, I have cried day and night before you. Let my prayer come before you. Incline your ear to my supplication. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all that he has done for you, who forgives all your iniquities, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from corruption, who crowns you with mercy and compassion, who satisfies your desire with good things. Your youth shall be renewed like the eagles. The Lord performs deeds of mercy and executes judgment for all who are wronged. He made his ways known to Moses and his will to the children of Israel. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and plenteous in mercy. He will not be angry forever, nor will he keep his wrath for eternity. He has not dealt with us according to our iniquities, nor rewarded us according to our sins. For as high as heaven is above the earth, so greatly has the Lord made his mercy prevail over those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has the Lord removed our iniquities from us. As a father has compassion on his children, so has the Lord had compassion on those who fear him. For he knows our fashioning, he remembers that we are dust. As for man, his days are like grass. As a flower of the field, so he flourishes. For the spirit passes in him, and he is gone, and he shall know his place no more. But the mercy of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting for those who fear him, and his righteousness is upon children's children for those who keep his covenant and remember his commandments to do them. The Lord has prepared his throne in heaven, and his kingdom rules over all. Bless the Lord, all you angels, mighty in strength, who perform his word to obey the voice of his words. Bless the Lord, all you his hosts, his ministers who do his will. Bless the Lord, all you his works, in every place of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. In every place of his dominion, bless the Lord, O my soul. 
O oh Lord, hear my prayer. Give ear to my supplication in your truth. Hear me in your righteousness and do not enter into judgment with your servant, for none living shall be justified before you. For the enemy has pursued my soul. He has cast my life down to the ground. He has set me in darkness like the dead of old, and my spirit has grown weary within me. My heart within me is troubled. I remember the days of old. I meditated on your deeds. I mused on the works of your hands. I stretched out my hands to you. My soul th thirsts for you like a waterless land. <clears throat> Hear me speedily, O Lord. My spirit has fainted. Do not turn your face from me, lest I be like those who go down into the pit. Let me hear your mercy in the morning, for I have set my hope in you. Make known to me, O Lord, the way in which I, I should walk, for I have lifted up my soul to you. Rescue me from my enemies, O Lord. I have fled to you for refuge. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. Your good spirit shall lead me in the land of uprightness. For your name's sake, O Lord, you will give me life. In your righteousness, you will bring my soul out of trouble. And in your mercy, you will make my enemies perish and destroy all those who afflict my soul, for I am your servant. O Lord, hear me in your righteousness and do not enter into judgment with your servant. O Lord, hear me in your righteousness and do not enter into judgment with your servant. Your good spirit shall lead me in the land of uprightness. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Our hope, O Lord, glory to you. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace from above, the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace in the whole world, for the stability of the holy churches of God, for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house, for those who enter with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our Archbishop Constantine, the Honorable Presbyters, for the Diaconate Christ, for all the clergy and laity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the President of our country, for all civil authorities, for the armed forces on land, sea, and air, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this city, for every city and land, for the faithful who dwell in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For favorable weather and abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for temperate seasons, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For travelers by land, sea, and air, for the sick, the suffering, the captives, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all tribulation, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, in your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our holy, pure, most blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves in one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For to you belong all glory, honor, and worship to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever to the ages of ages. Amen. God is the Lord and he revealed himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord and call upon his holy name. Veos kirios ke apefaneni min evloi menos o ercomenos en onomati kiriu. All the nations surrounded me, but in the name of the Lord I defended myself against them. God is the Lord, and He revealed Himself to us. Blessed is He who comes in the name of the Lord. This came about from the Lord, and is wonderful in our eyes. Theos kirios ke apephaneni min evloi menos o ekomenos en onomati kiriu. Although the stone was sealed by the Jews and the soldiers guarded your most pure body, you arose on the third day, O Savior, giving life to the world. For this reason the heavenly powers cried out to you, O giver of life. Glory to your resurrection, O Christ. Glory to your kingdom, glory to your dispensation, only lover of mankind. O fashioner of all creation, who made seasons and years by your own authority, bless the crown of the year with your goodness, O Lord, and preserve our rulers and your 
your city in peace at the intercession of the Theotokos and save us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. You became a pillar of patience, O devout ones, emulating the forefathers. Job in his sufferings and Joseph in his temptations and the manner of the bodiless though you were still in body. O oh, devout Father Simeon, intercede with Christ God to save our souls. No, no. Both now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Rejoice, maiden, full of grace, O oh, virgin Theotokos, a haven and protection for you, for all of mankind. From you did the Redeemer of the world become incarnate. Only you are both a mother and a virgin. O oh, lady, ever blessed and ever filled with glory, Intercede with Christ God, beseeching him to grant peace to the universe. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord have mercy. Commemorating your own holy, pure, most blessed and glorious lady, to Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For yours the dominion and yours the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever to the ages of ages. Amen. The soldiers who are guarding your tomb became like dead men. O oh, Savior, when your angel appeared there like lightning and said to the women that you had risen as you had said, we now worship you, our only God, and extol you, for you conquered death and dissolution, O oh, Master, and rose from the sepulchre. Glory to the Father, <coughs> and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. O oh, merciful Lord, nailed to the cross of your own will, O oh, giver of life, laid in a tomb as a mortal, by death you destroy the power of death as the mighty one. For the doorkeepers of Hades quaked when they saw you, with yourself you raised those who were long dead, O oh, Savior, supremely benevolent. When Gabriel had said to you, Rejoice, blessed virgin, and you had voiced your ascent, the Lord of all became incarnate. In you who became the holy ark, as righteous King David said of old, you carried your creator, and thus your womb was wider than the heavens. Glory to him who dwelt inside of you, Glory to him who came forth from you. Glory to him who through your childbirth has set us free. The women were at the tomb early in the morning. When they saw a vision of angels, trembling came upon them. The sepulcher was radiating light, and the dazzling <coughs> marvel astonished them. They departed and ran to, uh, to proclaim the resurrection to the disciples. Christ, the only strong and mighty Lord, has divested Hades of its spoils. He has freed the dead from fear of condemnation by the power of the cross and raised them all with himself. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. O life of all, you were nailed to the cross. Immortal Lord, you were counted among the dead. You rose on the third day, O Savior, and resurrected Adam from decay. Then the powers of the heavens cried out to you, O giver of life, and shouted, Glory to your suffering. 
rings of Christ. Glory to your resurrection. Glory to your condescension. Only benevolent God. Both now and ever to the ages of ages. Amen. O Mary, whose august body hosted the Master, we pray you raise us up, for we are sunk in the darkness of dreadful despondency, of transgressions and sufferings. Lady, you indeed are the salvation of sinners. You give help to us. You are a mighty protection, and you save us, your servants. O provider of seasons producing fruit, and of rains from the heavens for those on earth, Accept now the fervent prayers that your servants present to you and deliver your city from every necessity and may your tender mercies be lavished on all your works. Therefore, we entreat you, bless our comings and goings. God, Forgiveness of our every offense, for you are the one who brought the universe from non existence into being as the one who can. Both now and ever, glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever to the ages of ages, amen. O provider of seasons producing fruit and the rains from the heavens for those on earth. Accept now the fervent prayer of your servants presented to you, and deliver your city from every necessity, and by your tender mercies be lavished in all your works. Therefore we entreat you, bless our comings and goings, guiding aright the work of our hands for our benefit, O oh, our God, and bestow on us forgiveness of our every offense, for you are the one who brought the universe from non-existence into being as the one who can. Mm. Blessed are you, O oh Lord, teach me your statutes. The company of angels was amazed when they saw you accounted among the dead. Yet you, O oh Saviors, did destroy the might of death and disgrace of Adam together with yourself and release all men from Hades. Eblonitos is kirie, didaxon meta o matasu. Why, O oh, women disciples, did you mingle sweet spices with your tears shed from pity? Thus spoke the angel, shining brightly in the tomb, to the murdering women. Behold the tomb and be glad, for the Savior is risen from the sepulchre. <laughs> At early morning, with the women disciples hastened to the tomb with words of lamentation. But the angel stood by them and said, The time the sorrow is past, weeping no longer. But tell the apostles of the resurrection. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. As the murdering women drew near to your tomb, Bearing spices, O Savior, they heard an angel saying plainly to them, Why do you count the living among the dead? For as God, he is risen from the sepulchre. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. We worship the Father together with the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Holy Trinity, one in essence, as we cry out with the seraphim, Holy, Holy, Holy 
are you, O Lord, both now and ever, and on the ages of ages. Amen. In that you, O Virgin, bore the giver of life, Adam, you redeemed from sin. And to Eve you gave joy in place of sorrow, He who is incarnate of you, both God and man, Guided to life in whom was fell therefrom. Alleluia, 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 Doxosio Theos. Alleluia, 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 Mashtilakeia Allah. Alleluia, 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 Glory to you, O God. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our all holy, pure, most blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and never Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves to one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For blessed is your name and glorified is your kingdom of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever to the ages of ages. Amen. The repentance of the robber mm. plundered paradise, while the lament of the myrrh-bearing women revealed the joy. For you had risen, O Christ our God, bestowing on the world the great mercy. In my affliction I cry out to you, O Lord, hear me in my grief. The longing for God is unceasing in those who dwell in the desert, outside of the futile world as they are. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. To the Holy Spirit, as to the Father and the Son, belong the honor and the glory. Therefore let us sing a hymn to the Trinity, the one and only ruler. Having lifted me up to the mountains of your laws, brighten me with virtues, O God, that I may praise you. With your right hand embracing me, O Logos, keep me safe and shelter me, so that the fire of sin not burn me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. By the Holy Spirit, all creation is renewed, and thus returns to its first state. For he is equal in power to the Father and the Logos. When they said to me, let us go into the courts of the Lord, my spirit was glad and my heart rejoiced also. Over the house of David there is great fear, for when thrones are set there, all the tribes and tongues of the earth will be judged. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever, into the ages of ages. Amen. To the Holy Spirit, the honor, worship, and glory, and dominion that befit the Father and the Son should also be ascribed. For the Trinity is one in nature, but not in person. Now I will arise, says the Lord, I will establish them in salvation, I will declare it boldly. Now when I arise, says the Lord, I will establish them in salvation, I will declare it boldly. The words of the Lord are pure words. Now I will arise, says the Lord, I will establish them in salvation, I will declare it boldly. You rose from the tomb of glory as God, and you raised the world along with you. The human race extolled you as God, as death was obliterated, O Master. Now Adam dances, and Eve rejoices, freed from the bonds, and cries out, O Christ, you have granted resurrection to all. O Christ, you have granted resurrection to all. Let us extol as omnipotent God, the one who rose on the third day, for he smashed the gates of Hades, and he raised from their graves the dead from, from all time. As he wished, he was seen by the myrrh-bearing women, to whom first he exclaimed, Rejoice, thus saying, declaring to his apostles the joy as the only giver of life. Then the women in good faith bring good news of the proof of the victory to the disciples. But Hades groans and death laments. The world exalts and everyone celebrates. O Christ, for you have granted resurrection to all. For you have granted resurrection to all. 
You, the creator and the Lord of the ages, O God of all, truly transcending all essence, we earnestly entreat that you will bless the year and O oh, tender loving Lord in your infinite mercy only master, save us all who worship and serve you, O oh, our redeemer, and who cry with fear for all your servants make faithful the coming year. Make fruitful the coming year. Make fruitful the coming year. To God who made all things in ineffable wisdom and who preserves all things by his omnific might, we offer our heartfelt praise with reverence and with trembling. We implore him to grant fruitfulness to the earth today on the beginning of the year and to deliver <clears throat> us from every hardship and from enemies seen and unseen as we cry out in these good times. For all your servants, make fruitful the coming year. Make fruitful the coming year. To sublime things thou didst aspire, seeking while yet among the earthly thou wast numbered, making of the pillar a fiery chariot through which, O righteous Simeon, thou didst commune with the angels. Cease not, therefore, to intercede with Christ for all our sakes. What tongue of man could ever suffice to declare the praise of Simeon's blameless life? Howbeit is the wisdom of God, I shall praise the contests of this hero who appeared on earth as a luminary to all mortals and by his endurance mightily shone forth in the choir of the angels. For as he unceasingly chanteth together with them, he ceaseth not to pray Christ for all our sakes. He ceaseth not to pray Christ for all our sakes. On September 1st in the Holy Orthodox <clears throat> Church, we celebrate the beginning of the indiction, the, ecclesi the ecclesiastical church here. Do thou bless for our sakes the New Year's indiction, thou ancient who for man's sake tookest on newness. The first ecumenical council in Nicaea in 325 decreed that the church should begin on the church year should begin on September 1st. The month of September was for the Hebrews the beginning of the civil year, the month of gather, gathering the harvest and of the offering of thanks to God. It was on this feast that the Lord Jesus entered the synagogue in Nazareth and opened the book to read from the prophet Isaiah as found in today's liturgy gospel reading. The month of September is also important in the Christi history of Christianity because Emperor Constantine the Great was victorious over Maxentius, the enemy of the Christian faith in September. Following this victory, Constantine granted freedom of confession to the Christian faith throughout the Roman Empire. On this day, we also commemorate the miracle wrought by the Most Holy Theotokos at the Mycenae Monastery. The Virgin's holy icon had been cast into Lake Zagaru so that the iconoclast could not desecrate it. It miraculously arose intact from the lake's depths after many years in 864. On this day, we also commemorate our righteous father, Simeon the Stylite. He was born in Syria of peasant, of peasant parents. At the age of 18, Simeon left home and was tonsured a monk. He undertook the most difficult ascetic practices, including a strict fast for 40 days. Simeon eventually took upon himself a form of asceticism that was previously unknown. He stood day and night on a pillar in unceasing prayer. At first, his pillar was six <coughs> cubits, 7.5 feet high. Simeon eventually raised it to 40 cubits, 60 feet high. The saint worked many great miracles, healing infirmities by word and prayer, comforting those in need, <coughs> instructing others, and reproaching some who held heretical beliefs. Simeon lived to be 103 years old. He reposed in the Lord on September 1st, 459. His pillar and the cathedral name in his honor still stand outside of Aleppo, Syria. On this day, we also commemorate the devout Saint Martha, mother of Saint Simeon, the devout Saint Evanthea, and also the repose of Joshua, son of Nun. On this day, we also commemorate the 40 holy martyr virgins, virgins, ascetics, and also their teacher, Deacon Amon. On this day, we also commemorate the holy martyrs and siblings, Evdodius, Callista, and Hermogenes, devout Saint Melodius, the new, who lived as an ascetic on the mountain of Myopolis, died in peace. The holy near martyr Angelus, also witnessed in Constantinople in the year 1680, died by the sword. By the intercessions of thy saints, O Christ God, have mercy on us. Amen. <coughs> A cross that Moses inscribed When with an upright stroke of his rod He divided the Red Sea for Israel Who went on foot Then he turned and smote the sea Once again uniting it Our Pharaoh's chariots With transverse stroke portraying The invincible weapon Wherefore let us praise and song Christ our God, for he is truly glorified. The rod is the perfect priest, 
The rod is perceived as a figure of the mystery, for by its blossoming it showed who was chosen to be priest. And for the church that formerly was barren as the wood of the cross, now blossom forth unto strength and steadfastness. I have hearkened and heard, O Lord, of thy dispensation's most awesome mystery. And I came to knowledge of thy works, and I sang the praise of thy divinity. O tree divine and thrice blessed, whereon Christ God was outstretched, through he is King and Lord of all. You, he who once had through the tree wrought wicked and beguiled men, fell himself because of thee, and snared when God was nailed unto thee in our mortal flesh. He who granted peace unto our souls. When Jonah, who was in the belly of the sea monster, stretched forth his hands in the form of a cross, he prefigured the saving passion manifestly. Hence, poor soul, when he came forth on the third day, he indicated the supernal resurrection of Christ God, who was crucified in the flesh and enlightened the world by his arising on the third day. The ungodly tyrant's most insensate decree affrighted common folk, breathing forth with threats and wicked mouthings of blasphemy. But the three children were not struck with fear by rage wild and bestial, nor by roaring fire. But in an echoing and dubious sprinkling breeze, they stood amidst the fire and sang, O oh, thou supremely praise God of our fathers and our God, forever for the blessed. We praise, we bless, and we worship the Lord. O oh, ye children, equal in number to the Trinity, bless ye God the Father and Creator. Praise ye the Word, who descended and changed the fire into dew, and supremely exalt the Holy Spirit, who granted life unto all forever. Lord have mercy. For you, our God, are holy, rest among the saints. To you we give glory, to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever to the ages of ages. Amen. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. Pass up no in a saton ton kirion. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. And that we may be made worthy to hear the Holy Gospel, let us pray to the Lord our God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Wisdom arise, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be with you all. And with your spirit. The reading of the Holy Gospel is according to St. John. Let us be attentive. Glory to you, O Lord, glory to you. At that time, Jesus revealed himself again to the disciples by the Sea of Tiberias, and he revealed himself in this way. Simon Peter, Thomas called the twin, Nathaniel of Cana and Galilee, the sons of Zebedee and the two other of his disciples were together. Simon Peter said to them, I am going fishing. They said to him, we will go with you. They went out and got into the boat, but that night they caught nothing. Just as day was breaking, Jesus stood on the beach, but the disciples did not know that it was Jesus. Jesus said to them, Children, have you any fish? They answered him, No. He said to them, Cast the net on the right side of the boat, and you will find some. So they cast it, and now they were not able to haul it in for the quantity of fish. The disciple whom Jesus loved said to Peter, It is the Lord. When Simon Peter heard that it was the Lord, he put on his clothes, for he was stripped for work, 
and sprang into the sea. But the other disciples came in the boat, dragging the net full of fish, for they were not far from the land, but about a hundred yards off. When they got out on land, they saw a charcoal fire there with fish lying on it and bread. Jesus said to them, bring some of the fish that you have just caught. So Simon Peter went aboard and hauled the net ashore full of large fish, 153 of them. And although there were so many, the net was not torn. Jesus said to them, come and have breakfast. Now none of the disciples dare ask him, who are you? They knew that it was the Lord. Jesus came and took the bread and gave it to them, and so with the fish. This was now the third time that Jesus was revealed to the disciples after he was raised from the dead. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. Having beheld the resurrection of Christ, let us worship the Holy Lord Jesus, the only sinless one. Your cross, O Christ, we venerate, and your holy resurrection we praise and glorify. For you are our God. Apart from you, we know no other. We call upon your name. Come, all faithful. Let us venerate the holy resurrection of Christ. For behold, through the cross, joy has come to the whole world. Ever blessing the Lord, let us praise his resurrection. For having endured the cross for us, he destroyed death by death. Christ to God is a broken spirit, a broken and humbled heart God will not despise. Do good, O Lord, to Zion in your good pleasure, and let the walls of Jerusalem be built. Then shall they be pleased with a sacrifice of righteousness with oblation and whole burnt offerings. Then shall they offer bullocks upon your altar and have mercy on me, O God. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. At the intercession of the apostles, O Lord of mercy, blow out my many offenses. Both now and ever, <coughs> and to the ages of ages, amen. At the intercessions of the Theotokos, O Lord of mercy, blot out my many offenses. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your great mercy, and according to the abundance of your compassion, blot out my transgressions. 
Jesus, having risen from the grave as he foretold, has granted us eternal life and great mercy. O oh God, save your people and bless your inheritance. <coughs> Look upon your world with mercy, compassion, raise the horn of Orthodox Christians. Send down upon us your rich mercies, through the intercessions of our most pure lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, by the power of the precious and life giving cross, the protection of the honorable, heavenly, bodiless powers, by the supplications of the honorable, glorious prophet, forward and Baptist John, the holy, glorious, and praiseworthy, and chief apostles, Peter and Paul, as well as the holy apostles, the holy fathers among the saints, the great hierarchs, and ecumenical teachers, Bays of the Great, Gregor Theologian, and John Chrysostom, of Athanasius and Cyril, John the Merciful, Patriarchs of Alexandria, of Nicholas, Bishop of Mir, Spirit on Bishop of Medus, Dionysius, <coughs> Archbishop of Aginef, and Zakynthos, and Ectarus, Metropolitan of Pentopolis, the wonder workers of the Holy, Glorious, Great Martyrs, George Trophy Bear, Theodore the Recruit, Theodore the General, Manas, the wonder worker, the Hieromaz, Ignatius, Polycarp, Haralamos, Haleftarios, and Cosmos, Atolos, of the Holy, Glorious, Great Women Martyrs, Thecla, Barbara, Anastasia, Catherine, Kaki, Fotini, Marina, Paraskevin, Irene, the Holy Glorious Victorious Martyrs, the Righteous God-Bearing Fathers, who were illumined in asceticism, for the Holy Great Martyr Demetrius the Myrrh Flowing, the Holy Righteous Ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, for Righteous Father Simeon the Steelite, the Righteous Martha, <coughs> Mother of the Righteous Simeon, our Righteous Mother Evanthea, the Dormition of Joshua of Nevi, the Holy Forty Women Martyrs and Ascetic Martyrs of Thrace, Anna Manam the Deacon, their Teacher, the Holy Martyrs of Dokas, Kalistas and Hermoyenos of Nicomedia, the righteous Meletios the New, whose memory commemorate today, and of all your saints, we beseech you, O the most merciful Lord, hear us and as we pray to you, and have mercy on us. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Yara burham, yara burham, yara burham. Señor, ten piedad, Señor, ten piedad, Señor, ten piedad. To the mercy, compassion, love for mankind of your only begotten Son, with whom we are blessed, together with your all holy, good, and life creating Spirit, now and forever to the ages of ages. Amen. The Theotokos, <coughs> Mother of Light, in hymns and honor, let us magnify. Amen. My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit has rejoiced in God my Savior. More honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, who without corruption gave birth to God the Word. The very Theotokos you do in magnify. For he is regarded the lowest state of his handmaid. For behold, henceforth all generations shall call me blessed. More honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim. And without corruption gave birth to God the Word. The very day of soul you do we magnify. For he was mighty as God great and and holy as the day, and his mercy is on those who fear from generation to generation. More honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim. Who without corruption gave birth to God the Word, the very day of talk of you do we magnify. He has shown strength with his arm, he has scattered the pride in the imagination of their hearts. More honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim. Who without corruption gave birth to God the Word, the very day of Tokos you do we magnify. He has cast 
down the mighty from their thrones, and exalted the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and raised happy and empty away. More honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, who with corruption gave birth to God the Word. The very veil told you do we magnify. He has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy as he spoke to our fathers, to Abraham, and to his seed forever. More honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, who without corruption gave birth to God the Word. The very day or talk of you do we magnify. Thou art the mystical paradise, O Theotokos, for that thou being until despot forth Christ, by whom was planted on earth the life-giving tree of the cross. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our all holy, pure, and most blessed and glorious Lady, to Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For all the powers of heaven praise you, and to you they offer up glory. To the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, to the ages of ages. Amen. Holy is the Lord our God. Aios Kyrios, O Theosimon. Exalt the Lord our God, and worship at his footstool. For he is holy. On the sea of Tiberias, of old there went a fishing. Nathaniel, Peter, and with them another two with Thomas, as well as Zebedee's children. And then as Christ commanded, upon the right they cast their net and drew out many fishes, then knowing him. Peter swiftly swam to him, and he showed them both bread and fish upon the coast, in this his third appearance. O God of gods and Lord of all, one nature in three persons, eternal, unapproachable, thou who art uncreated, almighty maker of all things, we all fall down before thee, entreating thee since thou art good, do thee bless, O oh, our Master, this present year, and preserve in peace all the faithful hearts, and all the people thine elect, for thou art great in mercy. Thy brightly beaming way of life flash forth, O oh, righteous Father, like a great light illumining all things beneath the heaven with the bright rays of thy wonders for thou upon thy pillar as on a ladder didst ascend unto god in the highest in whom is found the last end of all things desired o blessed one and thou dost pray o simeon for us who show the honor since thou art God, the fashioner, and Lord of all creation, and since in thine authority thou settest times and seasons, we pray thee crown with the blessings of thine abundant kindness, the cycle of this present year, 
and do thou keep thy people in common peace. Free from every harm, O thou Lord of mercy, by thy pure mother's prayer <coughs> and those of all the godlike angels. On and knees, let everything that breathes praise the Lord. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise Him in the highest. It is fitting to sing a hymn to you. Fitting, 
So now also Christ our God scatter the bones of the faithless and the impious. Nigh unto Hades is David, saith in the psalm, for thou art the master of all things. We shall be filled with the good things of thy house. Thou who on holy Mount Sinai did write the tablets of old, seen in the flesh and present, now in Nazareth thinest, thyself to read the book of thy prophets, O Lord, and O Christ God on closing it. Thou didst instruct all the people that now in truth what was written of thee was fulfilled. Ne
much blessing. Every day, day, day will I bless you, and your name will I praise to eternity and to the ages of ages. Grant us, O Lord, this day that we be kept without sin. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers, and praise that. Glorified is your name to the ages of men. Let your mercy be on us, O Lord, as we have set our hope on you. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Lord, you have been our refuge from generation to generation. I said, Lord, have mercy on me, heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. Lord, I have fled to you, teach me to do your will, for you are my God. For with you is the fountain of life, in your light we shall see light. Continue your mercy. To those who know you, virgin and ascetic, holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. The holy Agios of Deos, Agios is Kiro, Agios the Thanatos, the Lesson in Mars. Glory to the Father and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Holy Immortal, have mercy on us. above and the salvation of our souls. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the peace for the whole world, for the stability of the holy churches of God, for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this holy house, for those who enter with faith, reverence and the fear of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For pious and ordinary Christians, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For 
our Archbishop Constantine, for the Honorable Presbyters, for the Deacon in Christ, for all the clergy and laity, let us pray to the Lord. For our country, for the president, for all those in public service, and the armed forces on land, sea, and air, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this city, for every city and land, for the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. For favor weather, for the abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord of mercy. For those who travel by land, sea, and air, for the sick, the suffering, the captives, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord of deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord have mercy. Commemorating a most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious lady, Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. Lord our God, whose dominion is incomparable, incomprehensible, whose mercy is immeasurable, and love for mankind ineffable, look upon us upon this holy house, your loving kindness, and grant to us and those who pray with us your abundant mercy and compassion. For to you belong all glory and honor and worship to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, to the ages of ages. Amen. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all that he has done for you. Lord our God, save your people and bless your inheritance, protect the fullness of your church, sanctify those who love the God, glorify them in return by divine power, do not forsake us, we are hope in you. Praise the Lord, O my soul. I will praise the Lord in my life. I will chant to my God for as long as I have my being. Blessed is he of whom the God of Jacob is his help, whose hope is in the Lord his God.
Zion shall be king unto eternity. Your God, O Zion, from generation to generation. and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. Lord, you grant to us who offer these common prayers in unison, have promised for two or three, green your name, you grant the request, fulfill now, O Lord, the petitions of your servants, as may be a benefit to them, granting us in the present age the knowledge of your truth and the age to come eternal life. For you, O God, are good and love mankind, to be offer up glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. Although the stone was sealed by the Jews, and the soldiers died in the most pure body, you arose on the third day, O oh Savior, giving life to the world. For this reason, the heavenly powers cried out to you, O giver of life. Glory to your resurrection, O Christ. Glory to your kingdom. Glory to your dispensation, only lover of mankind. Let the heavens and earth praise him. Although the stone was sealed by the Jews and the soldiers guarded your most pure body, you arose on the third day, O Savior, giving life to the world. For this reason the heavenly powers cried out to you, O giver of life. Glory to your resurrection, O Christ. Glory to your kingdom. Glory to your dispensation, only lover of mankind. Sophia, Orthe. And 
champion in times of danger. A contender in war who turned the nation's back. The boastful pride of Lias you put to shame. And you inspired Nessus' courage in the stadium. Therefore, great and holy martyr Demetrios, we pray that you implore Christ our God and ask that his great mercy may be granted to us. You, the Creator and the Lord of the ages, O God of all truly, transcending all essence, we earnestly entreat that you will bless the year, and, O tender, loving Lord, in your infinite mercy, only Master, save us all who worship and serve you, or our Redeemer, and to cry with fear for all your servants. Make fruitful the coming year. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. O holy God, who is resting among the holy ones, praised by the seraph and the thrice holy voice, glorified by the cherubim, and worshiped by the celestial power. You have brought all things into being out of nothing. You've created man according to image and likeness, and adorned him with all your gifts of your grace. You give wisdom and understanding to the one who asks, and overlook not the sinner, but have set repentance as the way of salvation. You've granted us your humble and worthy servant to stand even at the hour before the glory of your holy altar of sacrifice to offer you do worship and praise. Mass, accept the Tresai on him, also lips of us sinners, and visit us in your goodness. Forgive all our voluntary and voluntary transgressions, sanctify our souls and bodies. Grant that we may worship holiness all the days of our lives, through the intercessions of the Holy Theotokos and of all the saints who please you throughout the ages. For you are God, holy, and to you we offer up glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever to the ages of ages. Amen. Spirit now and ever to the ages of ages, amen. Oh, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us.
its message that may kind of be relating to my knowledge of me as remind that we may comprehend the proclamation of the gospel. And since us reverence we bless the commandments of the kind of chapter of the car of sires, we need spiritual life both thinking through all things that are pleasing to you. Be Christ our God, illumination of our souls and bodies to be offered for glory, together with the Father, so beginning your holy good life, training spirit, now and ever to the ages of ages and love. Μέγας ο Κύριος Σιμών και μεγάλη ισχύς αυτού. Ενείτε τον Κύριον ότι αγαθός. Σοφία. Προς Τιμόθεον πρώτης επιστολής Παύλου το ανάγνωσμα. Πρόσκομαι. Τέκνον Τιμόθε, παρακαλώουν πρώτον πάντων ποιήστε δεήσεις. Προσευχάς, εντεύξεις ευχαριστίας, υπερ πάντων ανθρώπων, υπερ βασιλέων και πάντων των υπεροχία όντων, ή να ήρεμον και ήσυγον βίον διάγομεν εν πάση ευσεβία και σεμνότητη. Τούτο γαρκαλών και απόδεκτον ενώπιον του σωτήρου Σιμών Θεού, ως πάντα σ' ανθρώπους τελειωθήνε και εις επίκοσιν αληθία σελθήν. Ίς γαρ Θεός, ίς και μεσίτης Θεού και ανθρώπων, άνθρωπος Χριστός Ιησούς, οδούσε αυτόν αντίλητρον υπερ πάντων το μαρτύριον και ρίση δίης, ίς ο ετέθην εγώ κήρυξ και Απόστολος. Αλήθεια λέγω η Χριστό, ου ψεύδομαι, διδάσκαλος εχθνών εν πάση και αληθεία. Let us be attentive. Great is our Lord and great is his strength. Praise ye the Lord, for the Lord is good. Wisdom. The reading is from St. Paul's first epistle to Timothy. Let us be attentive. My child Timothy, I exhort, first of all, that supplications, prayers, intercessions, and thanksgivings be made for all the people, for kings and for everyone who holds a high office, that we may lead a tranquil and quiet life in all godliness and solemnity. This is good and acceptable in the sight of God, our Savior, who would have all men to be saved and to come to the knowledge of the truth. For God is one, and the only mediator between God and men is the man Christ Jesus, who gave himself a ransom for all, to be testified in its own season, for which I was appointed a preacher and an apostle. I speak the truth in Christ, I do not lie, a teacher of the nations in faith and truth. Peace to you, the readers. Sophia of the Kusumant Evangelio, Irene Passi. Ecto Cata, look on a you Evangelio, Nognos ma proscomen. Tokero ikino, ilthen o Isus, isti Nazareth, u in te tetra menos, ke isethe katato iothos, afto enti meraton savaton, isti in sanagogin, ke anes, anesti anagnosne, ke epedoti, afton viblion, isaiu, tu profitu, Ke anaptoktis to vivliu evre ton topon u in gegramenon nevma kiriu epeme u eneken ekrise ekrise me evangel evangelisaste tokis apestatelke me iastate tus sinterimenus cincardion I Krixas emalotis efesin ketiflis anavlepsin apostile tetrasmenos enafesi kripsa eniaton kiriu dekton keptixas to vivliu opodus to ipirete ekathise ke pandon en Ti synagogon, synagogin i afthimi ison atenizondes afto, 
Ήραξα το, δε λέγειν προς αυτούς, ότι σημέρον πεπλήρωτε η γραφή αυτή εν τη ζωσήν ημών και οι πάντες εμαρτυ, εμαρτύρου αυτό και εφταμάζον επί της λόγης της αριστείς της επορεμένης εκ του στόματος αυτού. The reading of the Holy Gospel is according to St. Luke. Let us be attentive. At that time, Jesus came to Nazareth where he had been brought up and he went to the synagogue as his custom was on the Sabbath day and he stood up to read and there was given to him the book of the prophet Isaiah he opened the book and found the place where it was written the Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the good news to the poor he has sent me to proclaim release to the captives and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty those who are oppressed, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. And he closed the book and gave it back to the attendant and sat down. And the eyes of all in the synagogue were fixed on him. And he began to say to them, Today the scripture has been fulfilled in your hearing. And all spoke well of him and wondered at the gracious words which proceeded out of his mouth. Please be seated. Thank you. 
which the Jews knew that by Daniel and the poor, the ascetic proclaimed the release of captives and the recovery of sight to the blind. Preach the good news to the poor and the recovery of sight to the blind. You know, if you think later on in his, his homily on, on the Mount, Sermon on the Mount, where he gives the attitude, blessed are the poor, for they shall see the kingdom of God. We see this over and over right here. Proclaim the good news to the poor, we turn aside to the blind. It's not just for those who are physically blind. It's not just for those who are physically poor. But blessed are those who are poor in spirit, for they shall see the kingdom of God. Poor in spirit. I was reading like, what does this mean? Is this supposed to mean? I don't know if it's supposed to be what my original thoughts were about this. Blessed are the poor in spirit. Why are they blessed if they're poor in spirit? You would think they should be great in spirit, and then they will be blessed. But St. Nicholas, no, I'm sorry, St. Nicholas in Alaska wrote about the beatitude, the blessed are the poor in spirit. He said we should be in poor in spirit in the way that, as a poor in in finance and in material, we desire more. We need the necessity. Those who are poor are asking for food, are asking for comfort, are asking for shelter, for clothing. For those who are poor in material needs are asking, continually asking to have those needs met. So he says to us, as we are to be like them, but poor in spirit, we should be continually asking God fill our souls, to fill our lives, to open our eyes to his majesty, to heal us from the blindness, from seeing, from not seeing all the glory and thanksgiving that we should be given to Christ. If we are poor in spirit, we desire to be fed. If we are poor in spirit, we want to be clothed in his grace. If we are poor in spirit, we continually seek this come from the Lord. To contrast that, if you're full of the Spirit, what do you need? Is there room for more? No, I overindulge. But to be poor in Spirit, we're constantly seeking out more from God. To, to liberate captives. He comes to liberate captives, and I imagine they believe at the time he's going to liberate us from from the Romans. But he's come to liberate us from sin and from death and decay. To liberate us from our passion. To show us a, a better way than to be ruled by our stomach. And he says that this is the appointed time. So as we see this is the beginning of the church of the year. And as the times of old, they start, they finish the harvest and May we approach this new liturgical year with these open eyes and these thirst for God, to thirst for the Lord, to seek out the glory of God's grace, to plant new seeds of faith that we may grow holy fruit, fruit of the Spirit. We see the beginning of the liturgical year as a way of planting new seeds of faith we need to take new steps and seek out God's glory in a new way. I know every season it's like we get busy and then once it's over we think it'll slow down. But in a way it never really does. It's just another season to begin more. We have our goals and accomplishments and then we set the new goals to reach the true accomplishment. But our faith and our spiritual journey should be no different. As we go from Moscow to Pentecost, Pentecost into the remission, the remission to the new year, where do we be? What's the next big feast? It's the, the Nativity of Panagia and then the elevation of the cross. We see these as, as um, feasts of encouragement, as feasts of God's glory. The, door, the nativity of the Maria, we just have the permission. And we begin the new year with the birth of the Virgin Mary. That we may anticipate her coming and we may start anticipating the coming of the Lord again. The elevation of the cross, they find the cross in Jerusalem, they raise it in Jerusalem, and those from all the empire come to venerate 
kind of get tired, you get lazy, you get sluggish in our faith. When I was in here for C, we have all these beautiful feasts to encourage us, to lift us up, to give us opportunities to glorify God, to remind us of the divine colony, the, the divine work that Christ has done in our lives, in his life and in our life with the sacrament through these feasts. Again and again in peace, let us all the faithful pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord have mercy. Wisdom, we give thanks to you, Lord God of hosts, who have made us worthy to stand even now before your holy altar sacrifice and to fall down before you, seeking your compassion for our sins and those committed in ignorance by the people. Accept our God. Accept, O oh God, our supplication. Make us worthy. Offer you prayers and supplications and bloodless sacrifices for all your people. By the power of your Holy Spirit, make us whom you appointed to this, your ministry, free of blame or stumbling, and with the witness of a clear conscience, able to call upon you at every time and every place, so that hearing us, you may be merciful to us in the abundance of your goodness. For to you, O oh glory, honor, and worship are due to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever to the ages of ages. Amen. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Wisdom. Again, in countless times, she fall down before you, who, and we implore you, O good one who loved mankind, that you, having regarded our prayer, may cleanse our soul and body from every defilement of flesh and spirit, and grant to us to stand before your holy altar of sacrifice, free of guilt and condemnation, Grant also, O God, to those who pray with us progress in life, faith, and spiritual understanding. 
Grant that they may always worship you with awe and love, partake of holy mysteries without guilt or condemnation, but deem worthy of celestial kingdom. That ever guided by your might, we may ascribe glory to you, to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever to the ages of ages. Amen. No one bound my car and desires the pleasure worthy to approach, draw near to minister to the King of glory, for the serving is great and awesome, even for the heavenly powers. Yet because you never will measure the love of mankind, you impossibly immutably became man. You, as the master of all, became a high priest and delivered unto us the sacred service of the liturgical sacrifice without the shedding of blood. Indeed, Lord our God, you alone reign over the celestial terrestrial, born aloft the cherubic throne, Lord of the seraph, the King of Israel, the only Holy One rests among the Holy Ones. I now beseech you, who alone are good, incline your ear to hear, look down upon me, and cleanse my soul and my heart from the wicked conscience. Enable me by the power of your Holy Spirit, clothe grace the priesthood, to stand before a holy table, to celebrate the mystery of the holy, pure body and precious blood. I come before you with my head bowed, and I implore you to turn not away your face from me, nor reject me from among your children, but make me a sinful, worthy servant, worthy offer these gifts to you. For you, the one who both offers and is offered, the one who received and distributed, O Christ your God, to be offer of glory with your Father who is not beginning, your all holy, good, and life creating spirit, now and ever to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us commiscu represent the cherubim and chant the thrice holy hymn to the life creating trinity. Lay aside all the cares of this life that we may receive the King of all invisibly escorted by angelic host. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Blessed is our God always now and ever to the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, receive the incense upon him, the altar, send down upon us, divine grace, and the gift of the Holy Spirit, now and ever to the ages of ages. Amen. Have we held the resurrection of Christ, let us worship the Holy Lord Jesus, the only sinless one. We venerate your cross of Christ, Holy resurrection, him and glorify. For you are our God, and aside from you, we know no other. Call upon your name. Come all faith, let us venerate the resurrection of Christ. We go to the cross, joy is coming to the world. Have a blessed Lord, we human resurrection, for enduring the cross for us to destroy death by death. Have mercy, O God, according to great mercy, according to multiple compassion, blot out my transgression, wash me thoroughly from my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. I acknowledge my iniquity, my sin is ever before me. Against you only have I sinned and done you in your sight, and may be just by any words, victorious in your judge. Behold, I was conceived in iniquity, and in sins of the bear me. Behold, you love the truth, the hidden secret things, the wisdom manifest in me. Strip with his earth, wax clean, wash me white as snow. Similar with joy and gladness, the bones that are broken with joy. Turn your face away from my iniquities, creating me a clean heart of God, renewed by spirit in me. And I shall teach your instructions your ways, and Allah shall return to you. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, the God of my salvation. Open my lips, God, play your page. You do the side of the side of sacrifice that offer. I sacrifice the God's broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart, God, and not despise. Do good, O Lord, and give pleasure to sign that the wall is useful and be built. mercy on us. By night I call upon the Lord, call upon his holy name. The Lord shall return with the large car, archangel call.
τον ημών, νηστήκ κέριος ο Θεός, εν τη βάσλη αυτού, πάντοτε νυν και αεί, και εις αιώνος τον αιώνος. For those who enter with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord That the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless. Let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. For an angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guard of our souls and bodies. Let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. For pardon and remission of our sins and transgressions. Let us ask the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. For that which is good and beneficial for our souls, for peace for the world, let us ask the Lord. That we may complete the remaining time for our lives in peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. Let us ask for a Christian and to our life, peace without shame and suffering, for a good defense and for the awesome judgment seat of Christ. Commemorating a most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious lady, the Theotokos and the Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. Lord God Almighty, your Lord, our holy, your sacrifice of praise for those who call upon you with their whole heart. Even so, accept from us sinners our supplications and bring it to holy altar of sacrifice. Enable us to offer you gifts and spiritual sacrifices for our own sins, for the failings of your people. Deem us worthy to find grace in your sight, that our sacrifice may be well pleasing to you, and that the good spirit of your grace may rest upon us and upon the gifts here presented upon all your people. Through the mercies of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your holy, good, and life creating spirit, now and forever to the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us love one another with one mind, we may confess. Amen. Amen. Lord, my strength. My Lord is the foundation of my refuge. The 
adores the doors, Tastiras, Tastiras, and Sophia Proskomen. Bestevo is Senateo, Patera Pantocratora, Pietino Ranu, Ke is Raton, Tepandon, Ke Arato, Ke is Anna Kirion, his son Christo, on you to the Utomonani, Donak du Patros, and Athena Propandum Tonayo, Fos, Fos, Elithino. Ecta you elite nu, yen athenda upi athenda, umuusio tu patria to pandon e yenato, don di amas tu santropus, ke dia tini meteran soteria, katatona e ton orano, ke sarcotena e knematos a iu ke maris di spateno ke tropisanda, sabotena ti perimo, e fi bandi palatu, ke tafanda ke tafanda. Que en Astana tu titi y mera cata de grafas, que a tona es tu suranus, que cata zomeno nec texton tu patros, que pola nec homen metadoxis, crine zonos que ne cruz, uti vasilias este telios, que es to pnema, to aion, to kirion, to su opion, tu ec tu patros upo meno, to si patri que yo sin es que nomen, que es en la exazion de la lisa ton prefeton, Is me an aink and a pink of tolik in a cusio, homologo and vap is my zapas in a matio, pros to go and astas in a crow, que zoint malondo seonos, amin. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages. Light of light, true God of true God, begotten and created, of one essence with the Father, through whom all things were made. Who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man, crucified for us in the Pontius Pilate. He suffered and was buried. He rose on the third day according to the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. And he will come again with glory to judge the living and the dead. His kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the creator of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshiped and glorified, who spoke through the prophets. In one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead. And the life the age to come. Amen. Let us stand in right, let us stand in all, let us be attentive, that we may present the holy offering in peace. A mercy of peace, a sacrifice of praise. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us lift up our heart. We give them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord. It is proper and right. It is proper and right to him to the blessed and his praise to give thanks to the worship of his dominion. For you, O God, are ineffable, inconceivable, invisible, incomprehensible, existing forever, forever the same. You and your only begotten Son, your Holy Spirit. You brought us out of nothing to being, and when we're fallen away, you raised us up again. You left nothing undone and led us up to heaven and granted us your kingdom which is to come. For all these things we thank you, and your only begotten Son, your Holy Spirit. For all the things we know do not know for best manifest and that have been bestowed on us. We thank you also for this liturgy which deigned to receive from our hands. Even though thousands of archangels and tens of thousands of angels stand around you, the cherub and seraph and six women many are soaring aloft with their wings. Singing the triumphal hymn, exclaiming, proclaiming, and saying, Adios, 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 Adios. Together with these blessed powers, Master of Mankind, we also exclaim and say, Holy are you, most holy, you and your begotten Son, your Holy Spirit. Holy are you, most holy and sublime is your glory. You so love the world that you only begotten Son.
bread in his holy, pure, blameless hands and given thanks. And he had broken and gave it to him. Take it. This is my body, which is broken for you, for the remission of sins. Likewise, after partaking the supper, he took the cup, saying, Drink of this, all of you. This is my blood and new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the remission of sins. Remembering, therefore, the saving commandment, all that came to pass for our sake, the cross, the tomb, the resurrection on the third day, the ascension into heavens, the enthronement at the right hand, and the second glory is coming. God be gracious to send a mercy upon me. God be gracious to send a mercy upon me. God be gracious to send a mercy upon me. Prospero men, canta panda, que dia panda, your own of your own, we offer to you in all and for all. Once again, we offer you the spiritual worship without the shedding of blood, and beseech, pray, and entreat you, send down your Holy Spirit upon us, upon the gifts here presented. And make this bread the precious body of your Christ. Amen. And that which is in the cup, the precious blood of your Christ. Amen. Change in them by your Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 So that they may be for those who have taken for vigilance the soul of their mission of sins, commune of the Holy Spirit, fullness of the kingdom of heaven, boldness before you, not for judgment, condemnation. Can we offer you the spiritual worship for those who repose in faith, forefathers, fathers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, Evangelists, modest confessors, ascetics, for every righteous spirit made perfect in faith. Especially for our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, Theotokos and Eva Virgin Mary. Vasily, George, George, Paniotis, Antoine, and Agatha, Nina, Maria, Xanthi, 
Rosa, Eleni Sisatera, John, George, and Mary the Afanasia. Grant them rest, sir, God, where your light of your countenance keeps watch. Again, beseech you, Lord, remember all Orthodox bishops who rightly teach the word of the truth. The president is the act of Christ, every priest of monastic order. Can we offer you the spiritual worship of the whole world, for the Holy Catholic and Apostolic Church, for those living pure and reverent lives, for civil authorities and armed forces. Grant that they may govern in peace, Lord, so that in their tranquility we too may live calm and serene lives in all, vi in all virtue and piety. Great is the name of the Holy Trinity, always now and ever, to the ages of ages. Amen. Great is the name of the Holy Trinity, always now and ever, to the ages of ages. Amen. Remember, Lord, those who brought these gifts for whom they've been offered. Among the first, remember, Lord, Archbishop Isaac Constantine, grant him your holy churches and peace, safety, honor, and health until the length of days, rightly teaching the word of your truth. And remember, those of you who have a mind, and all your people. And Ken, Lord, all Maria, your Joseph, people. Joseph, Cariope, John, Christi, Duli, Constantinos, and Lenny, Catherine, Sophia, Pelea, Grace, Nicholas, Grasmus, Pascal, Fortini, George, Evangelia, Charles, Constantinos, Mary, Anastasia, Demetrios, Lydia, Irini, Iwana, Constantinos, Ashraf, Hanan, John, Andriani, Irini, Basil, Nigel, Maria, Sophia, Constantinos, Yorgos, Christine, Constantina, George, William, George, remember Lord, the city in which we live, every city, land, the faithful live in them. Remember, Lord, those who travel by land, sea, and air, the sick, the suffering, the captives, and their salvation. Remember those who bear fruit and do good works in the Holy Church. Those who are mindful of the poor, and let's all support in your great mercy. And grant that with one voice and one heart we may glorify and praise the most majestic name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever to the ages of ages. Amen. And the mercy of great God and Savior Jesus Christ be with you all. And with your spirit. Having commemorated all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for the precious gifts he has presented and consecrated, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That our God, who loves mankind, having accepted them at his holy celestial mystical altar as an offering of spiritual fragrance, may in return send down upon us the divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy. Having asked for the unity of faith, for the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, oh we entrust you, loving Master, our whole life and hope and beseech, pray, and implore you. Grant us to partake of your heavenly Muslim mysteries from a sacred spiritual table with a clear conscience for the mission of sins, for the forgiveness of transgressions, the communion of the Holy Spirit, the inheritance of the kingdom of heaven, and boldness before you, not for judgment and condemnation. Os que mi se fimentis veletes y mon, que mi esengis y mas esperos mon, a la risa y mas sepa tu poniru. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever to the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be with you all. And with your spirit. Let's bow our heads to the Lord. To you. We give thanks to you, Invisible King, who by your boundless powers fashion the universe. And a multitude of your mercy brought all things from nothing into being. Look down upon us, upon those who bow their heads before you, for they have not bowed before flesh and blood, but before you, the awesome God. Therefore, O Master, make smooth and beneficial for us all, whatever lies ahead in court of the need of each. Sail with those who sail, travel with those who travel, heal the sick, physician of our souls and bodies. Through the grace, compassion, love for mankind, never only be God the Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your holy, good, and life-creating spirit, now and forever to the ages of ages.
is Amen. Hearken, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, from holy dwelling place, and from the throne of your glory of your kingdom, sanctify us. You who are enthroned on high with the Father and present among us and visibly here, and with your mighty hand grant community of pure body and precious blood to us and to us who are your people. May God be gracious and send a mercy upon me. May God be gracious and send a mercy upon me. May God be gracious and send a mercy upon me. Proskome holy things for the holy. God is a portion and distributed a portion and divided. Who's ever eaten, who's ever consumed, but sanctified. Christ, the Son of the living God, who came to the world to save sinners, who I'm the first. I also believe this pure by and precious blood. Therefore, I pray to you have mercy upon me. Forgive me my transgressions, both voluntary and involuntary, in word and deed and knowledge and ignorance, and make me worthy without come to nature, taking your miseries for the mission of sins and for life everlasting. Amen. Behold the approach of divine communion. O make a burning and as partake for the fire consuming the unworthy, but cleanse me of every stain. O Son of God, see me today as a communicant of your mystical supper. For not speak to mysteries, the enemies, nor will I give you a kiss of the Judas, but the thief confess to you. Remember me, Lord, when you come into your kingdom. Tremble, O man, as you behold the divine blood, it is the burning coal that sears the unworthy. The body of God both deifies and nourishes me, deifies the spirit, when she nourishes the mind. You have smitten me with yearning, O Christ, but divine arrows have changed me. Burn up with my spiritual fire, burn up with spiritual fire my sins, bear me with delight in you. So leaping for joy, magnify, O good, your two comings. How shall I then enter the radiance of your saints? But there to the bridal chamber of Esther will condemn me. Since it's not a wedding garment, being bashed, cast out by the angels. Cleanse, O Lord, the filth of my soul and save me. You're the one who loves mankind. In your love, Lord, cleanse my soul and save me. Master, love mankind. Lord Jesus Christ, my God, let not the Holy Ghost be to judge me because of unworthiness, but rather for the purification and purification of both soul and body and the pledge of the future life and kingdom to come. It is good for me to cleave unto God and to hope my salvation in the Lord. O Son of God, receive me today as partake of mystical supper for not speaking to mysteries adversaries. No will I give you a kiss to the Judas, but as a thief, I confess to you. Remember me, Lord, when you come into your kingdom. Remember me, Master, when you come into your kingdom. Remember me, Holy One, when you come into your kingdom. Brothers, forgive me, unworthy priests. Brothers and sisters, forgive me, an unworthy priest. Behold, I approach Christ, the mortal king, and God grant me, Nicholas, and worthy priest, the precious body of your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, for the mission of sins and for life everlasting. Christ, the King and God, grant me Nicholas, the unworthy priest, the precious blood of your Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, for the mission of sins and for life everlasting. This has touched my lips, take away my sins for the mission of transgressions. the resurrection of Christ has worshiped the Holy Lord Jesus only sin us one we venerate your cross of Christ holy resurrection him and glorify for you are our God of the side from you we know no other we come upon call upon your name all faithful let us venerate the resurrection of Christ for behold to the cross joys come to all the world have a blessing the Lord behind his resurrection for during the cross for us he destroyed death by death shine shine new Jerusalem the glory of the Lord has risen upon you dance now and be glad Zion as for your breath help us take the line of the resurrection we did bear how love and how sweet how much pure is your voice we truly promise to be with us in the day of this age with us anchors our hope we faithfully rejoice. Mm-hmm. O oh Christ, our possible most sacred, great and wisdom, word and God and power, grant us to partake of you more profoundly under and day of our kingdom.
Metaphor with their PCOs, agapis, prosite, with the fear of God, faith and love draw near. Turn to God, hell and receive precious divine blood of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, for should have sins for life everlasting. Amen. Turn to God, Catherine, receive precious divine blood of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, for should have sins and for life everlasting. Amen. Turn to God, Jason, receive precious divine blood of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, for should have sins and for life everlasting. Amen. Turn to God, April, receive precious divine blood of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, for should have sins and for life everlasting. Amen. Turn to God, Demetrius, receive precious divine blood of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, for should have sins and for life everlasting. Amen. Turn to God, Ruth, receive precious divine blood of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, for of sins and for life everlasting. Amen. Turn to God, Marika, receive precious divine blood of the Lord and Jesus Christ, for of sins and for life everlasting. Amen. Turn to God, Marika, receive precious divine blood of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, for of sins and for life everlasting. Amen. Turn to God, Hermos, receive precious divine blood of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, for of sins and for life everlasting. Amen. Turn to God, Liana, receive precious divine blood of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, for of sins and for life everlasting. Amen. Turn to God, Liana, receive precious divine blood of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, Receive precious divine blood of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for remission of sins and for life everlasting. Amen. God, man in jail, receive precious divine blood of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for remission of sins and for life everlasting. Amen. Turn to God, Richard, receive precious divine blood of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for remission of sins and for life everlasting. Amen. Turn to God, Irini, receive precious divine blood of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for remission of sins and for life everlasting. Turn to God, and God, receive precious divine blood of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, for of sin, and for life everlasting. Amen. Turn to God, Demeter, I receive precious divine blood of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, for of sins, and for life everlasting. Amen. Turn to God, Mary, receive precious divine blood of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, for of sin, and for life everlasting. Amen. Turn <laughs> to God, David, receive precious divine blood of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, for of sins, and for life everlasting. Amen. Serve to God, Ioannis, receive precious divine blood of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for your sins and for life everlasting. Amen. Serve to God, Isaac, receive precious divine blood of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for your sins and for life everlasting. Amen. Serve to God, Xenia, receive precious divine blood of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for your sins and for life everlasting. Amen. Serve to God, Mavretta, receive precious divine blood of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for your sins and for life everlasting. Amen. Turn to God, Christophoros, receive precious divine blood of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, mission of sins and for life everlasting. Amen. Turn to God, Abir, receive precious divine blood of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, mission of sins and for life everlasting. Amen. Turn to God, Chrysala, receive precious divine blood of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, mission of sins and for life everlasting. Amen. Turn to God, Gregory, receive precious divine blood of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, mission of sins and for life everlasting. Amen. Turn to God, Michael, receive precious divine blood of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, mission of sins and for life everlasting. Amen. Turn to God, Tikon, receive precious divine blood of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, mission of sins and for life everlasting. Amen. Servant of God, Victoria, receive precious divine blood of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, mission of sins and for life everlasting. Amen. Servant of God, Catherine, receive precious divine blood of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, mission of sins and for life everlasting. Amen.
Receive precious Divide blood of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Mission of sins and for life everlasting. Amen. Of the divine and the God of the Unto the forgiveness of sins and unto life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Son of God. God, Patrick, receive fresh spine. Blood Accept of the Lord, Jesus me today. Amen. As I come you, for I will not speak of the Lord, Savior Jesus Christ. 
Christ, to the of sins, for life everlasting. Amen. Calliope, receive precious body and blood of our Lord Savior Jesus Christ, wish of sins for life ever Will I give thee a kiss? Serve to God, receive precious body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, for the mission of sins and for our life everlasting. Amen. Serve to God, receive precious body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, for the mission of sins and for life everlasting. Amen. Serve to God, Theodorus, receive precious body and blood of our Lord Christ, of sins, and for life everlasting. Remember me, O Lord. Serve God, Joseph, receive precious body and blood of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Mission of sins, and for life everlasting. Amen. Serve the God, Abner, receive precious body and blood of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Of thy mercy, and for life everlasting. Amen. Serve to God, you are thy name. Receive precious body and blood of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Mission of sins, and for life everlasting. Amen. Serve to God, Alexander, receive precious body and blood of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Accept sins, me today. Turn to God, Miriam, receive precious body and blood of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Wish of sins and for life everlasting. Amen. Serve to God, Eleanor, receive precious body and blood of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. For I will not see. Bless the God of mercy and never to the age of the mystery. Serve to God. Bless the God of mercy and never to the age of the mystery. Serve to God, Yorgos, receive precious body and blood of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Wish of sins and for life everlasting. Serve the God, Constantinos, for the precious body and blood of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, for the sins and for life everlasting. Amen. Serve the God, Myopi, for the precious body and blood of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, for the of sins and for life everlasting. Amen. But like the Serve the God, Sophia, for the precious body and blood of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, for the sins and for life everlasting. Amen. Serve the God, Mihaly, for the precious body and blood of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Remission of sins and for life Remember everlasting. Amen. Me, Serve to God, Theodora, I receive precious body and blood of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Remission of sins and for life everlasting. Amen. Serve to God, Victor, receive precious body and blood of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. For the mission of sins and for life everlasting. Amen. Serve to God, Victor, receive precious body and blood of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. For the mission of sins and for life everlasting. Amen. Serve to God, Barnabas, receive the divine blood of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. For sins, everlasting. Amen. Remember me, O Lord. Serve to God, the Lord, receive the precious body and blood of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Mission of sins and for life everlasting. Amen. Serve to God, the Lord, receive the precious body and blood of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Mission of sins and for life everlasting. Amen. Save your people and bless your inheritance.
Arise, hath then partake of the divine, holy, pure, immortal, heavenly life giving, and awesome mysteries of Christ. Let us worthily give thanks to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord have mercy. Having prayed for a perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless day, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, Lord. We give thanks to you, Master, love mankind, benefactor of our souls, that even on this very day you have made us worthy of your heavenly immortal mysteries. Make straight our path, fortify us in your fear, guard our life, make secure our steps through the prayers and supplications of the glorious Theotokos and the ever-Virgin Mary and of all your saints. For you, our sanctification, to you we give glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever to the end of ages. Amen. Let us go forth in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. O Lord who blesses those who bless you and sanctify those who put their trust in you. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Protect the whole body of your church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of your house. Glorify them in return by divine power. And do not forsake us who set our hope in you. Grant peace to your world, to your churches, to the clergy, to our civic leaders, to the army for your people. Very good and perfect from above the coming down for you, the Father and lights. To you we give glory, thanksgiving and worship. To the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever to the ages of ages. Amen. Praise our God and Lord to fulfill the law and the prophets who fill the Father's entire plan of salvation. Fill our hearts with joy and gladness. Always now and ever to the ages of ages. Amen. Eugene Anastasio, years, his wife Maria, uh, for two years, and for Anastopoulos, 38 years for the Papadopoulos family. Blessed are you, O Lord, to see your commandments. The choir of the saints has found the fountain of life and the door of paradise. May I also find the way through repentance. I am the lost sheep, O Savior. Call me back and save me. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Give rest, O God, to the souls of your servants and appoint for them a place in paradise where the choir of the saints, O Lord, and the just will shine forth like stars. To your servants who are sleeping now, give rest, overlooking all their offenses. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Let us devoutly Praise the threefold radiance of the one God as we sing. Holy are you, the Father without beginning, co-eternal Son and divine Spirit. Illumine us who worship you in faith and deliver us from eternal fire. Now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. Hail, O gracious Lady, who in the flesh bears God for salvation of all, and through whom the human race has found salvation. Through you may we find paradise. They all talk of our Lady, pure and blessed. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Doxo Sio Teos, Alleluia, 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 Marjula.
So Savior to the souls of your servants, keeping them in blessed life, which is from you, O loving one. In your place of rest, O Lord, where all your saints repose, give rest also to the souls of your servants, for you alone are immortal. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. You are our God who descended into hell and loosed the pains of those who were held captive. Grant rest, O Savior, to the souls of your servants. Now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. You the only pure and spotless virgin who ineffably gave birth to God intercede for mercy and forgiveness of the soul of your servants. Have mercy on us, O God, according to mercy. We pray to you, hear us, and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Can we pray for the repose of the souls of the parted servants of God, Eugene, Maria, and John, who have fallen the forgiveness of their sins, both voluntary and involuntary? Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May the Lord God grant their souls rest with the righteous repose for the mercies of God, the kingdom of heaven, and the forgiveness of their sin. Let us ask of Christ, our mortal King God. This, o Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. O God of spirits and of all flesh, you trampled upon death and abolish the power of the devil, giving life to your world. Give rest to the souls of your... Give rest to the souls of the departed servants of God, Eugene, Maria, and John. In a place of light, in a place of green pasture, in a place of refreshment, from where pain, sorrow, and sighing have fled away. As a good, loving God, forgive every sin they have committed in word, deed, or thought. 
for there is no one who lives and does not sin. You are alone without sin, and your righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and your word is truth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For you, the resurrection, the life, and the repose of your departed servants, Eugene, Maria, and John. O Christ, our God, to you we offer up glory with the eternal Father without beginning. You're all holy, good, and life creating spirit, now and forever to the ages of ages. Amen. Eonia. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. May the blessings of the Lord and His mercy come upon you, Mr. Barn, grace and love, make your life always now and ever to the ages of ages. Amen. Lord your God, we hold glory to you. May Christ your God, who is risen from the dead, and the session of the whole pure and majesty of God, the crown of the precious of the Lord, the protection of the young conscience of God, the supplication of the young Lord. Mercy on us and save us. Amen. in your truth and your justice hear me and do not enter into judgment with your servant for in your sight no living person can be justified for my en enemy has persecuted my soul and has brought my life down to the ground he has forced me to live in darkness like those dead of centuries and my spirit is in anguish and my heart within me is troubled I remember the day of old I meditated on your works on all your creations of your hands that I reflect I stretched out my hands to you my soul my soul thirsts for you like a parched land 
Hear me speedily, Lord. My spirit has failed me. Do not turn your face away from me, unless I be like one who goes down into the tombs. Make me hear your mercy in the morning, for I have hoped in you. Make known to me, Lord, the road in which I should walk on, for I have <clears throat> lifted my soul to you. Deliver me, deliver me from my enemies. Lord, I have fled to you. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. May your good spirit lead me in straight paths. For your name's sake, Lord, you shall give me life. In your justice, you shall bring my soul out of affliction. And in your mercy, you shall destroy my enemies. And you will utterly destroy all, all those who afflict my soul, for I am your servant. God is the Lord, and he revealed himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord and call upon his holy name. God is a... Gapheos idio que apefan en imin, evlo y menos o erhomenos en onomatikiri. All the nations surrounded me, but in the name of the Lord I defended myself against them. God is the Lord, and he revealed himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. This came about from the Lord, it is wonderful in our eyes. Feos kirios que apefan en imin. Oh, humble sinners, let us now run in earnest unto the Theotokos and in repentance fall down to her and cry out from the depths of our souls. Show compassion unto us and provide your assistance. Hasten, we are perishing in our many transgressions. Turn not your servants empty-handed away, for we have found you, O Lady, our only hope. No, no, all the world has found in you a victor, a mighty champion in times of danger, a contender in war who turned the nations back the boastful pride of the age you put to shame and you inspired Nestor's courage in the stadium therefore great and holy martyr Demetrios we pray that you implore Christ our God and ask that his great mercy may be granted to us Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. We, the unworthy, shall not ever be silent. O Theotokos, from proclaiming your powers, for were you not concerned to intercede for us, who would have delivered us from such manifold dangers, and who else would up to now have preserved us in freedom? O oh, Lady, we shall not depart from you, for you ever save your servants from evils of every kind. O oh, Virgin, who received the greeting through the angel, and bore you on Creator, save us who magnify you. Most holy Theotoko, save us. O Virgin, who received the greeting through the angel, and bore your Creator, save us who magnify you. Most holy Theotoko, save us. We praise your Son, O Theotokos, and cry out, O most undefiled Lady, and from every danger deliver your servants. Most holy Theotokos, Save us. You are the boast of kings, prophets, apostles, and martyrs, and the protection of the word, O most pure one. Most holy Theotokos, save us. The tongue of every Orthodox praises and blesses and glorifies your child, O Mary, bride of God, the most pure one. Most holy Theotokos, save us. In your compassion, O my Christ, grant even to me the unworthy forgiveness of my trespasses through the intercessions of her who bore you. Most holy Theotokos, save us. In you have I placed my hope, O Theotokos. Save me through your intercessions and grant me forgiveness from my heirs. Most holy Theotokos, save us. Grant me life, O you who bore the life, giver and savior. Save me through your intercessions, O blessed one, the hope of our souls. Most holy Theotokos, save us. O most pure virgin who conceived in your womb, the maker of all, through your intercessions, save us. Holy Theotokos, save us. who at the angels were birth, save us. Most holy Theotokos, 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 save
save our souls. Most holy thou dost save us. Through your intercessions, O Lord, your judgment and your gracious and your son gracious to us, who have transgressed more than any other man. Most holy thou dost save us. Duty bound we cry out to you. Hail, O Theotokos, pure ever virgin, and we entreat for salvation through your prayers. Most holy Theotokos, save us. Deliver me from the eternal fire and the sufferings which are in store for me, O birth giver of God, so that I may bless you. Most holy Theotokos, save us. Do not overlook the petitions of your servants. We entreat you, O praise lady, so that we may be delivered from every adversity. Most holy Theotokos, save us. Liberate us who seek refuge under your protection from all kinds of illnesses and pain and danger. Most holy Theotokos, save us. Strange is the wonder that we see in you, for you have conceived God in your tomb, and from you was born the creator of all, and our God for us and like us. Most holy Theotokos, save us. Your temple, O Theotokos, has been revealed as a place of healing for our ills, Freely give to us in comfort to our souls in distress. Most holy Theotokos, save us. O most holy Theotokos, who bore the Savior, save your servants from dangers and every other necessity. Most holy Theotokos, save us. Deliver your servants from every evil that threatens them, most pure lady, and from all harm in soul and body. Most holy Theotokos, save us. Save all who turn to you through your intercessions, O Virgin Theotokos and deliver them from all need and stress. Most holy Theotokos, save us. Who has ever turned for help to your temple, O Theotokos, and not speedily received the healing of both soul and body, O most pure one? Most holy Theotokos, save us. Entreated by all the saints and heavenly orders, O merciful one, have mercy on me through my prayers of her who bore you. Most holy Theotokos, save us. Spare, O Savior, the souls of our brethren who have died in the hope of life, and loose and remit all their offenses. Most holy Theotokos, save us. Hail, O Theotokos, mercy seat of the whole world. Hail, O golden vessel of divine manna, and candlestick of divine light, O bright of God. Most holy Theotokos, save us. Holy Trinity, our God, have mercy on us and save us. We sing to you the God in Trinity, crying out with a thrice holy hymn and pleading for salvation. Most holy Theotokos, save us. O virgin who gave birth to the Savior and Lord and Master of the world, entreat him to save our souls. Most holy Theotokos, save us. Hail mountain, hail bush, hail gate, hail ladder, hail divine altar, hail lady, the helper of us all. Most holy Theotokos, save us. Through the prayers of your most pure mother and all your saints, grant your mercies to our people, O compassionate Lord. Most holy Theotokos, save us. Through the prayers of the glorious archangels and angels and heavenly orders, preserve your servants well, O Savior. Archangels of God, intercede for us. Through the prayers of the venerable and glorious baptizer and prophet and forerunner, O Christ, my Savior, keep your servants under your protection. Baptist of Christ, intercede for us. Through the prayers of the glorious apostles and martyrs and all your saints, grant your mercies to your people. And the apostles and martyrs of Christ intercede for us. Through the prayers of the glorious unmercenaries, O Theotokos, protect your servants, since you are the protection and the support of the world. O holy and mercenaries, intercede for us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. We glorify the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, saying, Save our souls, O Holy Trinity. Now and ever, into the ages of ages, Amen. O Virgin, who in the latter days ineffably conceived and gave birth to your own Creator, they those magnified you. of compassion, we have set our hope in you. Do not let us go astray, but through you may we be delivered from adversity, for you are the salvation of the Christian family. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have mercy. mercy. For you are God, our holy, and to you we ascribe glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever to the ages of ages. Amen. The time that sanctifies us and is upon us, the just judge is waiting for us.
But return, O my soul, to repentance, like the harlot tearfully crying, Lord, have mercy upon me. With the flow of your waters, O Christ, you created a healing mountain in the most holy temple of the Virgin Mary today. For through the sprinkling of your blessing, you expel the maladies of the ailing, O physician of our souls and bodies. As a virgin who never knew wedlock, you gave birth, and a virgin you remain. O mother who knew no husband, and Theotokos Mary, entreat Christ our God to save all of us. O all holy virgin Theotokos, guide the works of your hands and intercede for the forgiveness of all our faults as we chant the hymn of the angels. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. Holy immortal, have mercy on us. Dinamis. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. The Lord is my illumination and my savior. Let us be attentive. The Lord is the protector of my life. Wisdom. The reading is from the epistle of Paul to the Hebrews. Let us be attentive. Brethren, both he who sanctifies and those who are being sanctified are all of one, for which reason he is not ashamed to call them brethren, saying, I will declare your name to my brethren. In the midst of the congregation, I will sing praise to you. And again, I will put my trust in him. And again, here am I and the children whom God has given me. Inasmuch then as the children have partaken of flesh and blood, he himself likewise shares in the same, that through death might destroy him who had the power of death, that is the devil, and release those who through fear of death were all their lifetime subject to bondage. For indeed he does not give aid to angels, but he does give aid to the seed of Abraham. Therefore in all things he had to be made like his brethren, that he might be a merciful and faithful high priest in things pertaining to God, to make propitiation for the sins of the people, for in that he himself has suffered being tempted, he is able to aid those who are tempted. Peace to you, the reader. Attend, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be with you all. And with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Reading the Gospel is according to St. John. Let us be attentive. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. At that time, Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now there is in Jerusalem by the Sheep Gate a pool in Hebrew called Bethsaida, which has five porticos. In these lay a multitude of invalids blind, lame, paralyzed, and waiting for the moving of the water. For an angel of the Lord went down at a certain season into the pool and troubled the water. Whoever steps in first out of the troubled water was healed of whatever disease he had. One man was there who had been ill for 38 years. When Jesus saw him and knew that he had been lying there a long time, he said to him, Do not do you want to be healed. The sick man answered him, Sir, I have no man to put me into the pool with water and trouble. And while I am going, another steps down before me. Jesus said to him, Rise, take up your pallet and walk. And at once the man was healed, and he took up his pallet and walked. Now that day was the Sabbath. So the Jews said to the man who was cured, It is the Sabbath. It is not lawful for you to carry your pallet. But he answered them, The man who healed me said to me, Take up your pallet and walk. They answered him, Who is the man who said to you, Take up your pallet and walk? Now the man who had been healed did not know who it was, for Jesus had withdrawn, as there was a crowd in the place. Afterward, Jesus found him in the temple and said to him, See, you are well. Sin no more than nothing worse befall you. The man went away and told the Jews that it was Jesus who had healed him. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. Let 
let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the peace from above, the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For peace for the whole world, for the stability of the holy churches of God, for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this holy house, for those who enter with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our Archbishop Constantine, for all the clergy and laity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this city, for every city and land, for the faithful living there, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For favorable weather, for the abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for temperate seasons, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the safety of those that tra for the safety of those who travel by water, land, and air, the restoration of the sick and suffering, and the liberation of those in captivity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That this water may be sanctified by the water and energy and visitation of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That the purifying energy of the supersubstantial trinity may come down upon this water. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That this water may become an instrument of healing for our souls and bodies and a defense against every adverse power. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That the grace of redemption and the blessing of the Jordan may be sent down upon this water. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For those that ask for help and protection of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That we may be illumined with the light of knowledge and through the consubstantial trinity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. The Lord our God may declare us children and heirs of this kingdom through the partaking of sprinkling of this water. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That we may be delivered from all distress, anger, danger, and necessity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us. Theotokos in ever Virgin Mary with all the saints. Let us commit ourselves to one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For to you belong all glory, honor, and worship to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. O Lord our God, who are mighty in will and wonderful in works, the creator of all the universe, visible and invisible, Remain faithful in your covenant and your mercy towards those who love you and keep your commandments, who accept the pitiful tears of those in distress, since it was for this reason that you came to us in the form of a servant, not to frighten us with deceptive visions, but to confer true health of our body, saying, See, you are healthy again, sin no more. And with clay you made the eyes of the blind man whole, and having commanded him to wash them, you restored his sight for our work for you restore his sight by your word. You have confounded the billows of the hostile passions and calmed the bitter seas of this life, subduing the burdensome waves of sensual pleasure. Do ye yourself, O King, who love mankind, who clothe us with the garment of dazzling snowy whiteness by water and spirit, send down upon us your blessing through the partaking and sprinkling of this water and wash away the foulness of the passions. Yes, Lord, we pray to you, visit our infirmity, O, o good one, heal the illness of our soul and body by your mercy through the intercessions of our most pure lady, the Theotokos, and the ever-Virgin Mary, by the power of the precious and life-giving cross, through the protection of the venerable bodiless powers in heaven, through the protection of the venerable bodiless powers, through the uh, pr prayer of the venerable glorious prophet Ford and John the Baptist, the holy glorious and praiseworthy apostles of our Father among the saints, the great hierarchs, ecumenical teachers, based of the great Gregor Theologian, John Chrysostom, of our fathers among the saints, and Cyril, and John the almsgiver, Patriarchs of Alexandria, of St. Nicholas, Bishop of Mir of Lycia, and St. Spirit, Bishop of Trimethus and Cyprus, the miracle workers of the holy glorious and great martyrs, George Victorious, Demetrius and Merflon, Theodore Tyrone, Theodore the General of the holy and glorious great martyrs, Haralamos, Leftarius of the holy glorious, victorious martyrs, of the holy righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, of the holy glorious and miracle working and mercenaries, Cosmos and Damien, Kiros and John, but the Laban, Heralamos, Samson, the Amidis, Mokios and Anakatos, Thalaios and Trifon, of the holy um, of all the saints we commemorate today, of the holy Simeon of the Steelite, whose memory celebrate 
and of all the saints, be mindful, O Lord, of all Orthodox bishops who teach the word of your truth, and of every priest of monastic order, uh, for, and for their salvation. Be mindful, O Lord, of those who hate us and those who love us, of our brethren who serve us, of the people here present, and of all those who, for good reason, are absent, of those who have asked us, and worthy though we may be, pray for them. Be mindful, O Lord, of all our brethren in captivity and all those in distress, and have mercy on them and on, on us according to great mercy, delivering them from every necessity and want. For you are a fountain of healing, O Christ our God, to you we ascribe glory. Together, beginning as Father, you're a holy, good, and life giving Spirit, now and in the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us bow our heads to the Lord. To you, O Lord. Incline your ear, O Lord, and hear us. You who accept to be baptized in the Jordan and sanctify the waters and bless all of us who, through the bowing of our heads, express our obedience to you. Grant that we may be filled with your sanctification through the drinking and sprinkling of this water. And may it bring us, O Lord, health of soul and body. For you, our sanctification of our souls and bodies, to you we ascribe glory, thanksgiving, and worship. Together, beginning this Father, your own holy, good, and life giving spirit, now and ever to the ages of ages. Amen. So son ki
Have mercy on us, O oh God, according to great mercy. <clears throat> we pray to you, hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for Archbishop Constantine, for all our brothers in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the mercy, life, peace, health, and salvation, visitation, remission of sins of the servants of God, all pious Orthodox Christians, those who live and visit in this city, for all the parishioners, the parish council members, and the benefactors of this holy church. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the preservation of this holy church, for the city and parish, for every city and country, from wrath of God, pestilence, famine, earthquake, flood, fire, and sword, invasion by enemies, civil war, unforeseen death, that our God, who loved mankind, will be merciful and gracious and favorable towards us, and will fend off and turn away all wrath and every illness that threatens us, and will deliver us from his righteous chastisement impending against us, and will have mercy on us. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Can we pray that the Lord God will hear the voice of the petition of us sinners and have mercy on us. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Hear us, O God, our Savior, the hope of all the ends of the earth and those who sail at distant seas, and be gracious and show mercy. O Master, upon our many sins, and be merciful unto us. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. For you are merciful, God, of love mankind, to we offer glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever to the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to your God, O glory to you. May Christ your God, through the intercessions of his all-pure and spotless Holy Mother, the holy glorious and praiseworthy apostles, holy glorious and victorious martyrs, the holy unmercenary and miracle-working Saints, for the Holy Good Martyr, Demetrius de Murphy, for the Holy and Righteous Ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, for, Saint, um, for all the saints we commemorate today, have mercy on us and save us, for he is a good God for us mankind. For the prayers, Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. May the blessings of the Holy Trinity be with all of you. Good morning. Good morning. All right, we will dismiss our Sunday church school. And then as everyone comes forward, please, we will anoint you with the water. You will kiss the cross, and, and we will put the bread. Philemon, we're going to put the bread by the column here, and they can put some bread on the way out.